You know what plantation they've never shown us, Abby? The most prominent ones, the ones that were most profitable, the breeding plantations. Why don't you want to show us those? You know why? Because after the research that I did for this album, you realize that the moment that a, a girl menstruated, she was put in a stable where a horse would be and forcibly made it, forcibly by a male of the slave master's choice. And when she had children, they weren't called children, they were called a litter of pups. The punishment of being or killing a person in medieval Spain is gelding. Gelding is when you take hot pincers and you take a man's balls and dick off root and stem. Killing a person, law of the Bible, right? Medieval Spain, super religious. You kill the man, he should be killed. Why were indigenous and black people categorized as subhuman? So under the law, you would not be punished for the things that you did to us. That's why. You used to be proud, right? You used to be proud, white America, of murder. You used to be proud of colonization. You used to, wow, that made us tough. And then you got ashamed of it. And that's what you're dealing with. That's what America's dealing with, a schizophrenic crisis. There's a British manual, right, that was taken out of the British Museum because within the manual, it talked about how it was a weapon of war that should be used against the indigenous population. You're ashamed of that now. You're ashamed, right? Who was Christopher Columbus? His image has been so whitewashed, but he was trafficking little girls on an island. Who does that sound like, huh? <laughs> All you right-wing defenders of Christopher Columbus and his legacy, he was trafficking nine-year-old indigenous girls on an island. Who does that remind you of, you intellectual coward? Just because liberals are dog shit doesn't mean that you shake hands with the devil. Right? The same way I tell people all the time who are white working class people who hear about reparations for black people and automatically get upset. You know, they hear the word Africa and they're furious already. <laughs> but the, the problem is this. The money doesn't come from you. No, it comes from the financial institutions that banked and built their, their stock exchange on labor, on the, 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 the payback that they got from slavery. Because reparations is not actually what African people are asking for in this country. African American people are asking for the other half of reparations. You see, America already paid reparations at the end of uh, at the end of the Civil War to slave owners. They gave them money per black yep. person that they let free, and they refused to honor the people that were actually victimized. So until you do that, you will always be cursed, America. And you can call me a communist, a socialist, but you know what? It doesn't matter what you call me. You know that I'm right, right? And you know that I stand more for indigenous rights than I do for the European interpretation of a left-wing ideology that doesn't always fix, that doesn't always work in a cookie cutter scenario when you plug it into Latin America. Because at the end of the day, that was still being pushed by two large governmental entities that wanted to challenge the United States control of the region. We're tired of being pawns. <laughs>